So output shaft, <coughs> I've replaced the uh, dog ring on the output shaft that had worn dogs. Uh, third gear was was fine. Fourth gear, the actual gear itself seemed fine, uh, but there was a bit of a wobble on it, which there isn't so much now. That might be because I've replaced these spline bushes. So there's one that side that way, and then there's one this side this way, and the gears go onto those. Then there's the circlips, the old circlips, uh, which obviously I didn't use, but the old circlips I've used new circlips as per the manual and put them the right way round so there is a uh, there's a circlip in here so where uh, no, not that side here we go circlip there uh, where third gear is, so there's a circuit that side of third gear, then the spline bush, then third gear, then fourth gear straight away with a bush going that way, and then another circlip. So apparently this is the circlip that's prone to coming off, is the circlip that's between fourth gear output and fifth gear. So that you know, I've, so I've put that on there. I've not stretched any wider than it needed to be. It's in there the way the manual says. It's uh, it seems in there properly. I, I guess that's all I can do. I am, <laughs> you know, wondering should I send it to Robinson just to get the circlips done? Uh, I don't know. I might just go with how it is. So anyway, fifth gear uh, then slides on the shaft with the oil holes misaligned, so oil flows through properly. So fifth gear. So fourth, third and fourth, it could probably do with like a little, I don't know, like a little shim in between them. There is a little bit of, a little bit of play in between, which means they do, there is a slight bit of movement back and forth, back that way and that way. So left to right on the shaft between that circlip and the circlip that side. There's a little bit of left to right, tiny little bit of left to right. But maybe that's by design because on the input shaft, this then slides in front of that so if i put the rest of this together so that's fifth gear going into uh fifth gear dogs going into fourth so i replaced fifth gear replaced fourth gear replaced all the circlips and the bushes fifth gear going in there uh, and then we have a spacer and then we have uh first gear which has the uh the needle roller bearing inside it. Try to do this one hand. Okay, that's not going to work. I have to pause. That's now on there, first gear is now on there. Another spacer and then the bearing at the end, which then, so that's output. And then if I line this up with the input shaft, I can show you what I mean about the, uh, so that looks where it lined up before, looking at where the wear is on the first gear that's actually on the input shaft itself so that would kind of line up there so this dog so first fifth fourth third second so third and fourth on the input this they slide together so those dogs line up there and you can see that they're sliding in front of those so this third and fourth on the output Maybe that's why they've got a bit, bit of play, because this moves. But it will only move as far as the shift fork would go. So although you could slide the, you know, you could slide this dog all the way along, the shift fork's not going to move it that far. So it's only going to move kind of that much, which just means it slides in front of those. It slides on the, it never, like, I don't think it actually leaves the cog that's engaged with the other side like if you look 
it's not like that's like as far as it will go so it's not like it needs to this needs to go in front of that one that's not going to happen it only ever goes this far as far as i can see so it's never actually leaving the gog that the cog that it's kind of mated with on the output shaft it's just sliding along the face of it rather than completely having to go across that one so that's what i can see anyway uh, and then on the input shaft i replaced circlips uh spacers and uh and what else, else did i replace on uh, input Oh, third and fourth. So I did replace this, third and fourth on the input as well. Uh, there we go. So, uh, I don't know, without spending a fortune, sending it to Robinsons. Oh, and interestingly, so the new forks that came back, oh, the, sorry, the fork, there was only one that I ordered, and that was uh, this one here, uh, A. So this has come back as, and it was A3 when it went away. It was, well, it didn't go away. I just ordered a new one. So A3. So I don't know if that means version 3, but I've now got version 4. So select fork A, version 4, fork C, version 4, fork B, version 3. Uh, let me find the old one. And it was, uh, here we go. Here's the old one. So this was the old selector fork for first and fourth gear. Uh, see, it was 3A. Now it's 4A. So I don't know if that's a later version. Uh, interesting. So this was my old, and you can see it's worn there on that selector fork. So yeah, 3A is now 4A. Uh, I've got a 4C. I wonder if... These new ones would come as a, a B4 as well, I don't know. <laughs>